Hello everybody, welcome back. What the hey? Let's just have us a little marathon today. I want to get this tank down, I want to get one laid up. I went and got me, I got a roll of Kevlar right there, baby. <clears throat> you know, and I really don't like making tanks. I don't know why. It's an all day process. I'm going to show you how I lay one up to keep them from leaking. But I found out how to keep them from leaking. It's just an all day process. You got to put your first layer of glass, and I use my first layer is a layer of three ounce. Okay? Well, you just do your three ounce and let it tack up. Wait till it's, uh, you know, you can touch it and it's sticky, but none transfers to your finger is, is when you do it. And then I'll go in there with my Kevlar and put a layer of Kevlar. Okay? You wait for it to tack up. Same thing. So there's four, about four hours each time when the weather's about, I mean, like today, about 70. It takes about four hours to tack up. And so right there, you've, you've got eight hours in it, <laughs> right there. But, you know, of course, you know, I'm off doing other stuff while I'm waiting. And then I go in there and put another layer of, once that Kevlar tacks up, uh, go in there with another layer of three outs, and then trim it. You got to trim it once the Kevlar t is, is tacky enough to trim. You trim the Kevlar. It's a little warm. <laughs> and then you put another layer of three ounce on there. Because if you trim that Kevlar uh, at that stage, you can uh, trim it with a razor blade real easy. If you wait, if you try it too soon and don't want to trim, if you wait till it's all the way set up, baby, you got to use a cutter. <laughs> so you don't want to wait before it's all the way trim I mean all the way set up I'll make you a video show you now I got a few tanks to make After I'm done with this plug, I think I'm going to go ahead and send it to the tank people. Because he's going to make me tanks pretty reasonable. I'm just kind of in a hurry. I don't... I want one right away and I want my own mold too. You know? Because I'll have to send my plug to the tank place. Man, I want to go flying sometime. Dang, it's always too windy, or especially this time of year. Or winds 20 out of the east. F4 is all ready for some action. But my doctor, my doctor's appointment's tomorrow. I want to talk to him more about my aneurysm and flying because he's the one who said no. <laughs> Backdash. He's my cardiologist. 
He's the one who said, no, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't fly. But I'm going to talk to him a little more about it tomorrow. That's really all we got to talk about. Everything else is really good, but I don't want to be standing out there and have that aneurysm open up, baby. <laughs> that ain't going to be good for anybody. Me or where that jet hits the ground. But, you know, like I said, the you know, once I fly a plane, it's not so bad. It's just, I think the maiden flight on a scratch bill is is the worst. That's when that heart's pumping, baby. <laughs> that A4, when I made that A4, my heart was thumping. And I kind of realized what was going down and, you know, and calm myself down. I'm able to do that. And just, you know, I right, calm down, take a couple breaths, you know, sit there and talk to myself like that. And that's what I did after the, on that A4, but it was after a cap, couple laps. I, mean, I realized, you know, I was, uh, my heart was pounding. He's going to be happy I lost some weight, I'll tell you what. 100 and, uh, or 287 to 250, that's 37 pounds, baby. I've lost a lot in four months. But with what I'm doing now, guys, a pound or two pounds a day. I go, I weigh myself every day. So it doesn't. No carb diet. Still eat meat, but no ketchup, no barbecue sauce. That's all full of sugar, man. And just staying off the sugar and the, the carbs and it's just falling off. It wasn't for my little party the other day. Yesterday we had to I had to go get me a Broadway booger, man. Was, I love them hamburgers. It was my favorite. No. Last side. Last side. And then I'm ready for my part on. I'll make you, we'll just have a little bobble fun today. How's that? I gotta run to the post office about four. But actually, guys, the flange on these tanks is pretty easy. You're gonna, and I thought of it myself. And uh, it works great. It's pretty simple. And no, you can't just put a flange on the other side when you do it because your tank will end up short. Your flange. See, think about it. You got one piece going inside the other. <clears throat> you can't just do it with the thickness of your plug without your uh, losing capacity of your fuel, and we don't want to do that.
We do not want to do that. But I'll show you. I'll show you how to do it. And then after you see it, you're going to say, man, that was so simple. <laughs> I bobbled near it all by myself, baby. Bam, all right, done clean. Done clean. Like I already waxed this edge, I already waxed my plug. So we're already for some part all. Okay. Bam. Eleven minutes. We got time. We got time. Okay, guys. <clears throat> this is my part all number ten. Okay. Fought this stuff for a long time to get a real smooth finish. You know, I'm talking glass smooth, not orange peeled or none of that. And uh, what I ended up having to do was mix a little water with it. Okay, so I'll fill my cup about a quarter of the way up and then put about a shot shot and a half of water in it. It's a shot glass. Okay. Now, this is how you do it. A lot of pressure, very little. Okay. Get that set. Now, this is just air. I'm not pressing all the way. Just wanting to miss because I just put a whole bunch of wax on there. If you lay a heavy coat on there, it'll fish eye. Okay, this is just there. It dries really fast if you do that. Just miss it like this. Go the other direction. Just there. See where it's drying. But when you do this, what it does is it is it reactivates the stuff underneath and just flows. Okay, but if you try and get it too much, too fast, it'll fish eye. It'll have big runs, uh, I mean, just it separates, just ugly. And this is what your mold is going to look like, your finished part off. You see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but see how fast it's drying when you just missed it like that? See, we're still a little wet. There it's trying. A little heavy in that corner because I'm getting the top and the side. So we got to be careful. Okay. There, it's just there. We want 
want this to be just a sheet of glass, man. A little heavy right there. And then it's done. Okay. Now we can slow down. We got a little bit on there. We can slow down a little bit. Get it on just a little bit heavier. Now it looks like a almost like a frost. Not a wet coat. Just there. Just there. Okay, spray some more on there. Go a little bit slower. Now get it a little wet, not wet, just a, a heavy mist. See it shine in there? Now it's all flowing out. A little more on there. That's flowing out. Uh, I'll be back with some more from the job. 